Hello. Sabir Hussain is here, Department of Infectious Diseases and Public Health, City University of the Hong Kong, doing PAD here. Today, I will present my work entitled as Knowledge, Attitude and Practices Associated with Brucellosis in Livestock Owners of the South Punjab, Pakistan. As you know, the brucellosis is a widespread zoonotic disease and globally it is the second most important zoonotic disease after rabies. Brucellosis is a serious contagious disease that causes reproductive failure, hence having the profound zoonotic public health importance. The infected animal with brucellosis may transmit the pathogens to other animal via contaminated raw milk uterine or vaginal discharge. The professional, veterinarian, laboratory worker or livestock handler involved who handled infected animal and their products are at high risk of getting this disease. That's why my major objective was to evaluate the knowledge, attitude and practices of the livestock owners related to brucellosis in South Punjab, Pakistan. Our study focused on assesses major loops in awareness and practices of the livestock farmers regarding brucellosis. So on the basis of the findings and the data, we found that out of the 600 respondents, only 41% that were aware about the term brucellosis and remaining 59% were unaware about the term brucellosis. That's the highest, it means the highest proportion that didn't even heard, heard the name brucellosis. We also found that 31% of the six and out of the 600 respondents having the knowledge that brucellosis is the zoonotic disease. And remaining 69% were unaware about its zoonotic potential of this disease. That's quite a alarming and annoying. More than 51% of the respondent even did not suspect that unpasteurized raw milk and raw meat are the potential source of infection for getting this disease. As you can see, farmers' knowledge and risky practices regarding brucellosis in pie charts. Despite the availability of the diagnostic test in each district, we found that only 30% having the knowledge that brucellosis diagnostic availability is available in their district. And only 18% screened their animal against brucellosis. So on the basis of these findings, we concluded that community member, especially butchers, and livestock handlers are at high risk of getting this disease, especially by raw milk consumption and handling infected aborted material. This CAP study underlined particular flaws in knowledge, attitude, and practices within the current study area. And there is dire need to upgrade both animal and human health. The farming community in great need of integrated control program against brucellosis across the country, including extensive education of the farmers and screen their animal. So one health approach along with the extensive control program is needed, especially focus on the rural and underdeveloped areas of the country to prevent animal to human transmission and reduce the disease incidence. So the author thanks all the concerned livestock owners for their participation and showing willingness in collecting the data. So here is the, the poster and work from my side. If you have any further query, please let me know as my email is given here. Thank you so much.